Can we have, can we, can we uh, put in chat GPT for this, please? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready? Can we just roll? All right. Who do I look at? Holly? Yeah. Don't look at you. <laughs> Hey, Ted. Hello, Holly. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I'm glad to be here. Awesome. So I want to just learn a little bit about your background. I understand you. Background. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> we're in for it. We're in for it. You were the owner of your own company previously before coming to Merchants, I was. right? Yep. Now, what made you decide to move from that to taking the Merchants role? That's a good question. So, Leading up to Merchants, I actually sold my company. So I was in a position where really thinking about what am I going to do next? And I had begun doing some consulting work with ESG um, and saw the opportunity of Merchants to really pair up a number of my passions, right? So like transportation industry, I'm a car nut gearhead through and through, and then obviously the sustainability side, right? So benefiting planet, people, and communities. And we really saw there being this pretty unique opportunity to dovetail all of them up together to ultimately make a really rewarding impact and one that I get excited about, so. So what role does, what role do you and the ESG team play at Merchants. Yeah, so we wear a number of hats. Um, at a high level, we really oversee the holistic view of ESG for the company, right? So looking at how we ultimately impact the world through benefiting our planet, people, and communities, while simultaneously doing that in a way that benefits the company from um, a wellness standpoint, right? So as a business standpoint. So we're always focused on doing good and ultimately by doing good, helping the company do well as a business. Um, but beyond that, we, uh, we get our hands dirty quite a bit. So our team also leads a lot of the non EV sustainability efforts, right? For our planet. We also oversee corporate philanthropy for the planets or for our company. So um, doing things like overhauling our corporate giving program, right? and overhauling the volunteer program at the company while doing things in the same day, such as joining investor calls for potential ESG funds. So we wear a lot of different hats. I wish I was wearing a hat today because <laughs> you might feel a few raindrops on this new do, but um, yeah, that's what we do here. And it also adds a little element of fun too, right? Like yeah. there's Earth Day. Yes. And I think you've done a great job of getting everybody excited about it, which I'm, is not I'm, easy. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, no, it's, it's a big thing for us this year has been really building the culture of ESG at the company. And for ESG to be really successful anywhere, you need to first be an ESG company before you can really do ESG thing. So my primary focus is helping the company become ES, become an ESG company by surrounding people with goodness, right? So to do good things, you need to be surrounded by good and see it every day in what you do. So that's been objective number one for me and the team this year, while simultaneously still doing things from a business perspective that relate to ESG. But to make it really self-propelling and move forward with the future and be able to be resilient, you need to be an ESG company first. So that's that's been objective number one um, since starting and continuing into this year. So with so much of your experience in ESG, can you tell me about a time where you feel like the ESG team here at Merchants really delivered value whether it was to the employee base, to the clients, yeah. from a legislation legislative standpoint, was there a time that sticks out in your mind? It's there's there's a few. I mean, so with every project we work on, we measure ourselves in deliverable value, right? So if you're busy, that's not really going to stack up as progress in my book. It's what we actually can deliver in terms of value to our stakeholders. So big stakeholders for us are obviously clients, but they're also our employees. It's our planet, our people, again, our employees and our communities. So 
probably one of the more exciting things we did was our ESG giveaway for the company where we incentivized employees to give back to those pillars. And I keep bringing up these pillars of people, planet and community, but mm -hmm. incentivize our people to take action, right? To take action and do something that results in a deliverable piece of impact to each of those pillars. Um, so what we did is we had $24,000 worth of cash benefits that were given out to employees who could do each of those three things. Um, and then we did a drawing to see who would win. Um, but what, what, what we did is we gave people sights into what ESG is, why it's important, and examples of what they can do. But what was so personally rewarding for me is just seeing everything everyone did. So we had over 50% of the company participated. I think it was like 53%. That's we had awesome. over 500 hours of volunteering. We had something like 1,400 employee recognitions where they were honestly just celebrating one another and what they've done, especially as it relates to ESG. So essentially, whether you like it or not, you are the face of ESG. <laughs> You're at Merchants. <laughs> what do you want More everybody like else to know? if the company likes it or not. <laughs> if the company like, yeah. What would you like other departments it's to take away from your team? Yeah, so I would say one of the most important things to take away is honestly our ethos, right? And the ethos we're trying to instill here at Merchants is Merchants does well as a business by doing good for our planet, people, and our communities. It's not a this or that, it's this and that, right? Mm -hmm. And allowing those two to complement one another and ultimately having the goodness lead the wellness I think is an important perspective for people to one, understand, but two, to see that Merchants is really trying to lead the way with, right? So regardless of the means, by focusing on the goodness, there's, we're showing it and it's amazing, even just after 18 months, we're starting to really be able to show the correlation of that has a direct impact on our bottom line in a positive way. It really does. And it's okay to say that right it's i love that people do it out of the goodness of their hearts often but it's okay to say hey this is a good business play too right, right. and i think the more that businesses and people can understand that it's not this or that but really a complementary of the two that they are, don't need to be mutually exclusive and mm -hmm. in fact if you want to create an impact on either side of the house allowing the two to work together you're going to create a bigger impact so I'd say for people to really understand our mer uh, merchants' ethos on ESG of us really doing well as a company by doing good for our planet, people, and communities is something I would like everyone to take away, um, whether you work at merchants or not. Well said. I can't think of a better way to end this fabulous conversation. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate Holly. it. Mr. ESG himself. Ooh. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh.